And no, with all due respect, absolutely. You know, I understand you're a signature person. Yeah. You're not really a praiser. Uh, no, I, I, I actually take that. Okay. No, I, uh, I actually see. I've okay. been What's up, YouTube? Salmojo here, and welcome back to another Led Zeppelin reaction video. Except for today, we're doing something a little bit different. Let me know if you guys enjoy this format. We were going to be reacting to customers selling Led Zeppelin memorabilia to the pawn shop. And this is the famous show Pawn Stars. It's actually one of my favorite shows. Very interesting. I love um, seeing the stuff from different time periods that people bring in or collectibles and stuff like that. So we're going to see what these people have. We have three different clips. So... We're gonna watch these and see what kind of stuff that the that they bring in. I'm really interested to see what they have. But let me know if you guys like this down below in the comment section. Of course, we could do something like this again. But without further ado, we're gonna jump into these because they are a little bit longer. They're about five minutes each. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy these. What do we got here? Led Zeppelin one signed by the full band. By the full band, I only see one. Jimmy Page signed the front, and on the rear, John Bonham. Robert Plant, John Paul Jones. That's pretty wow. amazing. I've never seen... Okay, so comment down below what you think this is worth before continuing. I'm going to say... I don't like how one of them's on the front. I would rather them be all together. And the condition didn't look that great. I'm going to say somewhere between like... Five, six thousand. You know, Led Zeppelin signed an entire album. Jimmy, being the leader of the band refused to sign the back. This was his puppy. Yeah, Jimmy Page is now the one uh, uh, begging Robert Plant to play. Uh, <laughs> so that's when interesting. Came around, he didn't want to sign the back. Rocked. It was like take no prison. The God fought the grandfathers of heavy metal. More than albums any other band worldwide. Wow. Really? Oh my gosh, 30 minutes? <laughs> it's, it's probably 24 authentic signed Led Zeppelin albums in existence. So I'm looking for $22,000. Sheesh. Hey, this is really amazing. 22K. Led Zeppelin is one of the greatest rock and roll bands of all time. Every one of their albums was in the top 10, and six of their albums were number one. Now, four signatures on an album, if this is real, I probably won't want to put it in the store. I want to bring it home. <laughs> Can't blame them. The big question is, how much do you want for this? Twenty to thousand. As okay. far as Led Zeppelin collectors go, this is the holy grail to Led Zeppelin items. My huge concern on this. Mm -hmm. Holy grail! Wouldn't you want one of Jimmy's guitars signed? That seems like that would be better than the album signed. Even though all of the members signed it, the guitar is you know that really is a symbol i feel like we got jimmy page on the wrong side mm. but you're not gonna find something like this so have you ever had it, the signatures checked out uh yes it, independently yes um let me call up my friend take a look sure. at it of course he really knows his stuff so hang out for a few minutes sure. i'm gonna go give him a call maybe we can do something yeah. i understand an expert being brought in but i don't buy things that i have doubts about but you know it, it is what it is Good to see you, man. How are you? Okay. Good, good. How Hello. you doing? Nice How to see you. you. This is it. This is what I this guy's not going to like the this. The greatest rock band of all time. Yes. I feel like the, the seller is going to like what this guy has to say. They yeah. Are. They're the guys who really, you know, gave everybody else their inspiration. True. Well, trying to put together a signed Led Zeppelin mm -hmm. album is really difficult. Uh, John Bonham died in 1980. Robert Plant, uh, John Paul Jones, Jimmy Page, they're not really that accessible. If the mm. signatures are good, if everything checks out, there's no doubt this is going to end up being one of the rarest items I'm ever going to see. The big thing is, wow. are they real right. and what's your opinion on what it's worth? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, Rick, is look at it under magnification. Right there, ballpoint pen. Um, and you take a look right here. Oxidized, it's a little older. You know, you could tell. Mm. Nice aged ink. So cool. we know we've got live ink on here. That's a great sign. The next thing I want to do is take a look at the examples I have on file. The Robert Plant signature is something I take a look at all the time. He would just flow through the signature. He had this big R, and then wow. the rest would just become all a big flow. But I want to go back to the bottom signature. Pretty Whole large signature. Connected. And he's doing the same thing here. John That's Paul clean. Jones, Very clean. Probably signature. the nicest signature in the band. 
The last one I want to take I like a look at, I like the other the one. Jimmy Page. And that, again, is just all over the board, but I love this flow and spontaneity. Okay, so it's all legit. Based on everything I've seen, absolutely no doubt this is the real deal. Sweet. And what do you think it's worth? It's I'm surprised this guy doesn't. Okay, these things just really don't exist. I'm surprised that he doesn't have it laminated, or not laminated, but like at least in a some sort of plastic um, seal. The only thing that kind of bugs me a little bit is the one signature on front. On the front. And the other guys on back. Yeah. But with that said, I put this value right at about ten to $12,000. Okay, a little bit more than okay. I thought. A little bit less than what he wants. <laughs> and no, with all due respect, absolutely. You know, I understand you're a signature person. Yeah. You're not really an appraiser. Uh, no, I, I, I actually take that. Okay. No, I, uh, I actually see. I've been doing no, this for about 25 and, years, no, so I've no, seen no, a lot. I've okay, seen a no, lot of I, autographs I, I, I and totally material. I'm not trying to. And I get where you're coming from too, but at the same time, um, I've seen plenty of these pieces. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of research on these through the years. Uh, Okay, I, you know, I respect your opinion, yeah. but you know, we all have opinions. You, you do realize that Jimmy signed, the reason why Jimmy didn't follow suit with the other three is because this was his baby, this album. He Absolutely. Signed the exactly. I'm not, no, I'm no, not no, actually no, discounting no, any no, of that no, stuff. No. One second. I'm not discounting any of that stuff. <laughs> I would tell you this much, that if you told that to the average person, mm -hmm. they're not going to care. They want them all True. back. True. Thanks, man. Yep. Very good, good point. Line. Very Thank good you. point. Uh, yep. Thanks, Drunken. Yep. Cheers. If I'm a collector, and if I'm someone looking at... I mean... I hate when customers do that, and I get it because it's a they're it's a lot of money. Like you're dealing with some money there, but they're doing you a favor by appraising and authenticating your item so that you could potentially get more money from it. Tell them they don't know what they're talking about. Clearly, they do. They're giving advice to somebody that's running a million dollar business that sells and buys these items all day long. Like, really? Come on. To buy a high-end collectible and especially to spend a huge amount of money i'm gonna want all those so, signatures to be together and be displayed rick's gonna offer him unfortunately this wasn't all together and that kind of takes away from that total value yeah that's exactly what i figured when i saw it that one signature on the front so he said um what like ten thousand. the guy wants 22 rick's gonna offer him like eight Watch. I would give you eight grand for it. Oh. I, sorry, we're you know, it. Again, miles apart. Uh, you know, I mean, what's your best price on it? My best price uh, would be seventeen five. This is this is history. No deal. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd go eighty five hundred, but no, I, I'm sorry. You know, okay. I appreciate the offer. Okay, well, if you change your mind, come back. The offer's open. No. Um, have a nice day. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. Thank you. Man. People are naive. It's opinions. Everybody has opinions. This will sell. I have no problem selling. I just think that they really need people that know what the hell they're talking about. I know what the f I'm talking about. This guy is an ass. Okay, well, if people are naive, it's opinions. Everybody has opinions. This will sell. I have no problem selling. I okay, this will sell. I will have no problem selling. So, why are you at a pawn shop then? Um, he called the guy naive, yet there's probably data that backs up the appraisal, I'm sure. It's not just a random number. Wow, that guy is something else. All right, let's go to the next one. How can I help you? I've got something that's a lot older than you are. I want okay. you to take a look at him. <laughs> the Led Zeppelin album. And this one here is called Big Star. I bought those when I was a senior Big in star. high school, when I've had them for almost 50 years. And uh, six kids later, 17 grandkids later, I think I want to sell them. Well, just the fact that you could hold on to these for 50 years is amazing to me, because I got about a five-year limit. <laughs> I'm at the pawn All shop right. today, hoping to sell two old albums that I've had. One's a Led Zeppelin album, and the other's a Big Star album. I bought them brand new in a record store in southern Utah. We so they're really emphasizing the heavy metal aspect. Listen to them a lot back in the 70s. They're both in very good I haven't heard condition. of that. I'm hoping to get $1,000 for my Led Zeppelin album and $800 for my Big Star album. This okay. is cool. Not a big difference Let's at all. Let's take a look here at what you got. Big Star, number one record. From what I know about this album is it's, it's a pretty collectible album. These guys weren't around very long. They didn't get a chance to do too much. Let's look over here. Commercial flop. Led Zeppelin, 
1968 is when the band was formed. John Bonham, John Paul Jones, Robert Plant, and of course, Jimmy Page. One of the most iconic bands in the world. I mean, they this album here alone sold 23 million copies. Let's go ahead and check it out in here. Oh, wow. This is cool. This is a white label record here, and this is a sample copy. So what not does that to sell. mean? But this is really cool. White label records. Sample they were copy. Records that were given it's out like as a promotional promo copies. Yep. And it's something that the record execs would listen to. And from what I know, the white label copies are very collectible now because they were never supposed to go out to the general public. How much are you looking That's pretty at neat. these albums? You know, the Led Zeppelin album, I think, is worth $1,000. That seems fair. And the Big Star, I think, is worth about $800. Okay, here's my issue with, with that. Is I can pick this album up for probably 40 or 50 bucks, probably even cheaper with a bad copy. With that being said, it's a white label, so it's definitely going to hold some value. But okay. I want to have someone come in and take a look at these albums before I go and try to buy it. Let's do it. I'd like to see what they say. Okay, well, so give me just can... a few minutes down here, and I'll get a, a guy down, and he'll tell us what he thinks about them. Good. So you can Thanks. pick out that album got my fingers crossed for 50 bucks from that, that time period, a non-white label? So here's what I called you down about. Well, they're fantastic records. The Big Strike, it's like impossible to find. Okay. They made maybe 10,000 of them. At the time, no one really cared about it. In fact, it was a failure. But looking back, it's an amazing record. They were way ahead of their time. Critically acclaimed, everyone wants it. I really? haven't seen one of those in probably five years. It's fantastic. What do you guys think about Big Star? So the Led Zeppelin, you got probably the best Led Zeppelin record of all time. If that is truly a white label promo, has sort of a... He's saying it's the best of all time, probably because Stairway. I mean, these, these were some really amazing songs. Going to California really caught my attention for some reason. It still does. And obviously, Black Dog Rock and Roll, oh, so good, yeah. Sort of uh, another level that makes it even more valuable, and that's the, the hype sticker. And there are people in the world of collecting that just want records with the hype sticker. I'm glad I didn't tear that sticker off, I'll tell you that. Yeah, exactly, and most people did. Most people just tore them right off. Well, do you want to give them a look over wow. and tell me what you think about them? The sticker. Yeah. What are you looking for when you're looking through these records? So yeah, what I'm looking for really is like condition. A condition is everything. I'm looking for groove wear. I'm looking for scratches. I'm looking for spindle wear. People at the time didn't care about records. They didn't think records were going to become collectible. It's very, very right. unusual to find old records in very, very good condition. I would say this record is Not a bad. VG plus. So does VG mean very good? Very good plus, yeah. Put it in here yeah, for you if you want to look good. at that Led Zeppelin one. Sure. Kind of excited about this. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Uh, that is indeed a white level promo. And of course, sample copy not for sale. The condition on this actually says is right on there. I would say is a VG. Beautiful, glossy. It's a home run. Yeah, it looks for any really collection. good. So, wow. what kind of value would you put on these albums? Between the two of them, you have two iconic records. The Big Star, um, it's a rare record. I mean, to even find this record, it's almost impossible. He's only I'd say the big a couple hundred definitely of it. worth 500. Yeah. Um, the Led Zeppelin white label promo with the hype sticker, 750. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming. I thought they'd be worth more than that. Thanks, yeah. But. Okay. Well, he quoted these a little less than what you were looking for. Big star. I'd be a buyer at 200 on that one. Oh, I couldn't. You know, he Not said it's half. worth much more than that. I could maybe go down to 500 on that one. Could you do 250? Let's go 400. Okay, 300 is my bottom price. We got a deal, right? That's fair. Okay, after 50 years, I'll let it go for 300. Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> 50 years, no. 300 Zeppelin, bucks. <laughs> white label, sure. 400. No, I could. Uh, I, I would keep I mean, it for that price. Worth more than that. Come on, How about man. $600. I would even sell it for five. 600. That's a lot of money for a record. Still at that price, yeah. it's limited on who's going to buy it. I would just keep it. I'll, I'll do it. Ah. Uh. All right, well, we'll leave these right here and go do some paperwork. Come on. Thank you. Off the record, I probably would have taken a little bit less, but I'm glad I got what I got. <laughs> okay, let me know what you guys think about that. Oh, yikes. We got one more. Brought in a bunch of old Led Zeppelin albums. Ever since a guy brought in a bunch of old Led Zeppelin albums, I've been going crazy trying to find the object. It was this mysterious black hmm. statue used in the... 
Something's wrong with the video on this one. We might have to try and find a different one. Let's see if there's another video. I'm surprised I didn't catch that. This is from their official channel too. It should should not be should not look like that. Hmm. Ever since a guy brought in a bunch of old Led Zeppelin albums, I've been going crazy trying to find the object. It was this mysterious black statue. All right, I'm going to save this one for a, uh, a different video, you guys, just because the quality isn't good and I don't want to ruin the experience. But it looks like this person is selling that object that's on the table in the album, on the album, on the album cover. That is super interesting. I wonder what that's worth. Wow. I don't want to spoil it. We'll save this one for another time. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did you enjoy this? Let me know down below and we will do more of them. I, I really think it's interesting. I definitely do. I like to talk about it out loud and hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, maybe we can do more. Just let me know down below and I will read the suggestions. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a like on the way out. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.